guys. I have Joe Bourbon here tonight on Whiskey Wednesday. I got the Chattanooga Whiskey. It's 111 proof. I'm going to give that a try tonight. Uh, have not had any of this whiskey. Uh, obviously, it's out of Tennessee. Uh, this will be a fresh crack, so no further ado. Let's see. I did get a, a little ice cube tonight. I thought, well, if it's uh, need to try it out both ways, it's already ready. So, cheers, guys. Uh, I know this is a young whiskey. I think aged at least two years. Got a nice little smell. It's got a little bit of alcohol burn smell, like the ethanol. It almost has kind of a, a rye, like baking spice in it. I smell a little bit of, of char in that. So let's, let's give it a try. A little bit of burn, this little hug. Mouth not stinging, I thought it was gonna taste a little bit more alcohol. Let me see. I guess my taste buds have opened up my nose a little bit. I get a little hint of uh, like a, uh, like a citrus uh, smell in that. Uh, it still has a little bit of spice smell to it. And I'm starting to smell kind of like a, a hint of vanilla. Vanilla is so prevalent in most bourbons. This smells like a little bit of uh, confectioner sugar type icing. So let's give it a try. Hmm, that opened up a little bit on that one. You know, I'm very surprised how uh, more sweet this tastes than... Uh, than burns, you know, I, I've had 111 proof only, only, you know, age two years, right at, I think. Uh, I'm tasting a, more, the, it went away from the citrus. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the more I've drink it, and it's, it's opened up a little bit, and also my taste buds have opened up. And that's the one thing, when you're trying to bourbon for the first time, sometimes the neck pour we've talked about is not good, but also just your taste buds themselves, like the first drink, uh, your, your mouth just isn't ready for, for alcohol possibly. So uh, the first drink burned a little bit, but didn't have much flavor. That third drink brought out a lot. So make sure that when you're, when you're doing this, you, you give yourself a little bit of time with it and not just throw it away right away. All right, so it's got a decent nose. It smells more of a rye on the nose. Like I said, I smell a little citrus at the beginning and I, I still smell it on the nose. More like a cream cheese icing, powdered sugar, uh, vanilla, and a little bit of char. I smell a little bit of like oak char, uh, the good char. All right, it starts out kind of muted uh, as it goes across your tongue, though it kind of opens up. It comes back, it actually has a little hint of caramel in it. Uh, and, and kind of a, it's not a, it's not definitely not a peanut, but more of a, may, maybe a, maybe a pecan, because uh, it is a little sweet. Uh, it gets, it just opens up at the end. It, it stops and it, and it goes pretty, pretty uh, far as, as far as I'm still tasting it. All right, so it's a pretty long finish. Uh, I, I'm enjoying this, uh, surprised, uh, but uh, the, the in-depth of the flavor, I think, is what I'm most surprised about. It just, I, I didn't expect that. All right, finish it up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that while we're talking. Uh, nose, uh, I smell a little citrus, smell a little char. Uh, a little bit of uh, powdered sugar, confectioner sugar with vanilla. Uh, it's like a sweetish, sweeter, sweeter nose. I do get a hint of al uh, alcohol, ethanol on, on, the, on the nose. And I think at the beginning, that's what was making it hard for me to, uh, to smell until my mouth was open. Uh, and then tasting, uh, 
It starts out like it's going to be kind of simple, um, but then it kind of starts to sting a little bit, a little burn. I like it. Very good hug. I'm, I'm, nice hug, 111 proof. It comes back and just opens up right away. Uh, it starts with a little bit of like a citrus orange, but it, it turns more right to a caramel uh, vanilla butterscotch in that flavor range, I think is what, what most of you will taste. I'm, I'm saying it's more caramel to me with a little bit of pecan, uh, very, very little pecan. Uh, so um, I enjoy it. I'm gonna give this three barrels. I think uh, it, it's an easy drinker. Uh, at the same time, it's got a nice hug. Uh, I enjoy that. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll be drinking this some more. Uh, I would recommend getting it. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot how much I paid for it. Uh, I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I think it's right in the $40 range. I don't think it's very expensive uh, at all. Uh, I, got, I got it at Looker Barn. So, uh, oh wow, the ice actually opens it up a lot. I mean, there's all kind of flavor in that. Uh, might be a little too easy to drink uh, with a cube. Uh, lots of caramel. Uh, that, that's what I get from this one. I, I think there's a lot of caramel in this. Uh, I think uh, they do a toasted char barrel, and I think that's probably what's bringing a lot of flavor out to still be a, such a young bourbon. Uh, but I'm real, I've really enjoyed this. Definitely average Joe bourbon approved. Again, I'm gonna go three barrels. W one last time, nose. It, it definitely is, uh, it is citrus, vanilla, confection of sugar, more on the sweet notes in, in the nose. Comes across like it's gonna kind of be muted, but opens right back up on the mid palate into a caramel with a little bit of a con little bit of citrus too not much that fades because there's more caramel dominant in it uh doesn't really burn the end of your tongue so you're tasting a lot of flavor but gives a real good hug right here so uh like i say guys I, it, it's it's three barrels for me i'm not going to put it much above that but i think you would definitely enjoy drinking it so i hope you guys have a great night my little mini glen here cheers guys if you would hit that subscribe button here on youtube Check us out over on TikTok for the shorter versions as well. Have a great night.